Hey, what's going on, guys? We got the continuing saga here of the um, uh, maintenance and care of uh, the guns. So I'm just going to field strip this thing and make sure it's clean. If it's not, I will clean it, uh, make sure it's oiled, and ready to go back in the safe. Um, tonight, I'm going to be doing the Sig Sauer P250 subcompact. Um, this did come uh, new with this Sig Sauer um, outside the waistband holster. It's just a basic paddle holster. Um, but it has good retention and it did come with the gun. So we'll pull this off. Or fight with it a little bit. It's good retention. And also this, uh, this um, does fully cover that trigger guard. Um, it's not a, not a bad holster because you can... You can get a full grip on the pistol while it's still in the holster. Draw it out and you're you're right on. Let me get this thing out of here and knock all my crap around here. Anyway, um, SIG Sauer P250 subcompact. This uh, is a 12 round magazine here uh, plus one in the chamber that's uh, 13 in this thing. And it's um, not a very big gun. It's uh, no bigger than my shield, uh, a little wider than it, definitely, but no, um, no bigger. Um, and also, it is a double stack magazine, so it, it, it's you know going to be a little wider. Um, let me get this one out of the chamber here. Let me stick that up there. All right, Sig two P uh, Sig two P two fifty, hello subcompact. Um, super easy to break this gun down. Just rack it back, lock it back. Take the take down, take the takedown lever. Release it. it. Comes right off. You don't need to pull the trigger or anything. Um, this is looking pretty clean, offhand here. Um, pull the spring and guide rod out. Uh, that is a steel guide rod barrel slide uh, and the uh, the frame looks very clean offhand here I don't see any issues with this this is a uh, hammer fired um, double action only um, pistol this is not striker fired anyway I'll put the frame on the side because that's pretty clean I'll oil that in a couple of minutes um, I gotta grab a rag. Sorry about that. You think you think of everything and then you forget something. I'm just gonna move this stuff here a second. Get a little rag down. Okay, here we go. Um, gun looks clean. I'm just going to give it a little wipe down with a little old trusty Hoppy 9 and a Q-tip. Give the slide a little wipe down. See, it's never totally clean. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to get all these guns um, nice and clean. Uh, this is going to be one of my last videos um, in this house. Um, we just bought a house. Um, we're in the middle of packing and, uh, you know, just the whole friggin' house looks like a bomb hit it. Because we're trying to pack everything up and get everything ready to go. Um, we're closing on the house next week, and uh, we're real excited, so I, I will have a new, you know, area to do my, you know, videos, if you want to call them that. But, yep. Yeah, this looked pretty clean. The slide wasn't too bad. I thought Bill shot this the last time he was up here. Maybe he just 
Maybe I was mistaken, or maybe he cleaned it, or maybe I cleaned it, who knows. And we got a bunch of snow here today. Sucks. I guess you gotta take the good with the strong. Okay, I'm gonna call that slide clean. And throw a little CLP on this, uh, little CLP on the spring and guide rod. I ain't afraid to use it. down here it's clean this is all clean the barrel let me uh, I'll do I'll stick a little I'll clean that feed ramp looks pretty clean I'll get a little inside that barrel little hoppies nine and I'll give my old uh, my old buddy, the 9mm boar snake here. Give it a little pass through. Make sure the barrel's nice and what the hell, I'll put it through again. Just for a goof. And I'll, uh, you know what, I'm going to oil that barrel down a little bit. Just a little on my fingers, I ain't afraid to get it on my hand. Just going to rub that barrel down. Some oil. I'm not going to get it on the feed ramp, but I will get it all around. Give it a light wipe down. I don't want to leave too much oil on it, but I want to leave a coating. There you go. The frame looks pretty clean. It looks doesn't look like I really need to do much in here. And get a little in the magwell, just in case any dust settled. Eh, got a little color on that Q-tip. Nothing horrible. Look, we got snow today, and now the radio says 53 tomorrow. Friggin' cracks me up. All right, and I'm just going to get a little oil um, on the slide points. Oh, too much there. Never too much. I don't put too much. So I got a little on the rail here, the rail here, rail here, rail here. That's done. Whoop! Oh, and knock into the friggin' thing. And I'll get a little oil on the insides of the rails of the slide. Nothing crazy, just nice fresh oil. We'll get this barrel back in. Get this spring and guide rod back in. All back together. Get this thing back together here. Lock it back. Pull the uh, takedown lever up. Unlock it. All right, good to go. That was a quick one on this. I didn't have to pause you and do a 30 minute cleaning. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to call this gun good to go back in the safe.
whack one in there. Replace it. There is no safety on this gun. The safety is the trigger and your brain. Um, it's a long, heavy, double action pull only on this thing. So you really don't have to worry about it unless you really uh, pull the trigger. You know, if you make a conscious effort to pull the trigger. Oh, I forgot my dang silicone cloth. Why do I keep knocking into the tripod? I met a girl the other night. She told me to come over her house. Nobody's home. I went over her house. Nobody was home. <laughs> so I'm going to just give this thing a wipe down on the, uh, just on the slide with the silicone cloth. Keep that protected. And we're going to call this gun done. All right. Awesome gun. SIG P250 subcompact. Uh, this did come with two 12 round magazines um, and the holster and all the other assorted crap you normally get with it. But anyway, I'll let you guys go on this one. Like I said, this is going to be one of the last videos I do um, in this house. So uh, if you don't hear from me for a couple of days, or, you know, a week or something, uh, I'm moving. But, you know, I'll definitely pump out another one or two uh, before we leave out of this house. Anyway, I'll catch you guys soon. Keep out of trouble. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, give a like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, even if you're not new to the channel, leave a comment, like, subscribe, or share. Anyway, I'll let you guys go on this one. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching, and stay safe.